Hello, thank you for stopping by Kyle's blog. This is Kyle's 74th video. In this video, I'm going to be in the book of Mark, chapter 11, beginning with verse 22. And in this video, I'm going to speak on speaking to obstacles. That is everything that would be in our way, that would be in a hindrance to our walk, or even things that would be a hindrance to us taking out the gospel of Jesus Christ, things that would be in the way of our ministries. And, and this video is going to play along a lot with my, my, my uh, video from last week that had to do with all authority given to Jesus. Because this too, in terms of speaking to obstacles, those mountains that would be in our way, this too is taking that authority that's in Jesus' name and putting it into action. So in saying that, I'm going to begin reading here. Mark 11, verse 22. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and ye shall have them. Jesus says, Have faith in God, for nothing will work if we don't have that faith in God and believing that those things will come to pass whatever it is that we would say now those mountains again or those obstacles can be anything that would be in our way so sicknesses uh, uh, diseases sins or or even like in terms of obstacles that I'm saying um, that that would be in the way of our Christian ministries or in taking the gospel of Jesus Christ out it could even be over a person now, we don't take authority in Jesus' name necessarily against a person to bring any harm against a person, but we would against the principalities and powers that would be influencing that person to be a hindrance to us in our ministry or even in terms of taking out the gospel. So we can believe now then that we can speak against these things, against those principalities and powers in authority in Jesus' name without doubting that they would be removed and be out of our way. And this is completely necessary, especially in terms of our personal ministries or in taking out the gospel, because the devil is going to come along and wish to bring in those obstacles to be in our way and to hinder us from taking out the word of God. We see in the book of Acts that, or we even see in the walk of Jesus, that oftentimes when he would go to do things or go to bring about the gospel at times there would somebody would come in and shrieking out with a loud voice and really as scripture shows that person would have a demon and therefore would start shrieking and be a hindrance to Jesus with bringing the word so what did Jesus have to do he had to cast out the demon he had authority to cast it out in the book of Acts also we see the apostles the disciples of Jesus Christ also having that same authority to cast out those unclean spirits that would be in their way. All by the authority, though, that is given to us in Jesus' name. It's why it's so important for us, though. Notice it says, say unto this mountain, speak to it, speak to it, tell it by the authority in Jesus' name. If anybody sees us doing these things, we're going to look like a fool. Regardless, though, we have to take that authority that's given to us and speak to these things. Speak to that spiritual realm, and it will take place in the natural but we have to have, as Jesus says, that faith in God for these things to come to pass. Have faith in God and speak to those obstacles that would be in your way, that would be a hindrance to your walk, or that would even be a hindrance to the gospel of Jesus Christ and taking it out. Because Jesus has disarmed principalities and powers in the heavenlies, but they are still there and they are still a hindrance. But it's been given to us that authority to be able to cast them down and push them out of the way by using that authority in Jesus' name. Therefore, speak to them and command them to move in his name. I thank you for stopping by Kyle's blog. God bless. Have a great week.